All right, I don't know how many of you have um, played the uh, or played around with the tabletop simulator. Um, it looks really uh, promising. I haven't played a lot of it. Um, I have gone uh, into the workshop uh, and found some games that people have been working on and converting over for a uh, tabletop simulator. Um, I know in the past I did a video, a real short video on the Vassal, which is a nice uh, way to play a lot of board games, mostly uh, uh, war games, uh, old board war games um, through Vassal. And uh, I still love that system. Uh, the tabletop simulator kind of adds like a three-dimensional element to it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I've got a few different games in here. Um, haven't really played a lot of these, but <clears throat> I do like what they're doing. I mean, like this game, there's an old Avalon Hill game, which I do have a copy of the board game. I think uh, the one I have might be, I don't remember which printing. I think it's like maybe a 1977 edition. Um, so it's a fairly old game, but um, I really like the way they they uh, style the board uh, and, and lay this out. So you've got it um, kind of laid out a lot like what it would look like uh, in the uh, in the board game. You've even got dice here uh, that you can do a roll with. Um, kind of cool. So yeah, you've got got some things here that you can do um in this game but uh it, it's it's pretty cool i just um probably will go back and we'll exit that game um, there's you know i guess you can join games on here there's like some kind of a chat thing going on uh, and there's like a join kind of neat i guess i'd have to have some of these games in order to play twilight <laughs> I've heard of that one, never played it. But right now, this is kind of a listing of what's out there. So if you have to have a game, you can jump in there and play uh, head to head against somebody. Oh, I see there's like a secret Hitler one in there. Did I see D&D &D 5e? Oh, I didn't know anybody played that three tabletop simulator, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, you can like join, um, you know, create. Now, typically for me, I do like single player. Uh, where I'll just like maybe play something solo by myself. You know, I've got like a neat little chess game here, which I could play, uh, basically move pieces against myself if I wanted to, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing too fancy. You can zoom in, you can rotate the board around. I like the three dimensional effect of the tabletop simulator, which, you know, something that you don't really get in Vassal. Um, I really like that a lot. It's kind of cool. I mean, there's you can move the pieces any which way you want. There's no like limitations on the moves, so you, you really have to understand how to play the game. But uh, I just wanted to kind of briefly show this. It's uh, something that I haven't gotten into a whole lot. I would love to play uh, some old board games. I think there's some Napoleonic uh, war games that have been converted over, and I'd love to try to play a few of those. I haven't gotten into it yet, but uh, yeah, leave me any comments uh, uh, if there's some games that you enjoy. I'm mostly into old board games, um, a lot of the old board-type war games like Avalon Hill. It could be, you know, anybody else, too. There's a lot of good publishers out there, but, um, you know, if you've got some that you enjoy, feel free to comment, let me know. I'm kind of... Uh, Trying to search around and find something good that's good, that's good to play. Um, I know there are some games that there's been some work done on them, but there's some that aren't quite uh, fleshed out yet and, and working properly. But uh, let me know what your experience has been, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.